I'm now staring up to the sky, specifically at the stars, which you can't see through my shitty iPad camera, but if you go outside yourself and look up, you'll see thousands of millions of no one knows how many little orbs of gas that hold the essence of every aspect of life, and though they seem so full of themselves and so bright and so unabashedly alive are actually the millennium or years dead corpses considering how long it's taken from what you see to where the star is to travel light years and light years and light years to the fact that the star itself is dead and gone in a spectacular explosion which you will never bear witness to but one single one of which thousands happen throughout the cosmos will exhibit more energy than you could ever express in your entire life or comprehend through our understanding. These things are a marvellous beauty, a spectacle, something that we really don't get. What's the purpose of them? Who knows? Why do they outlive nearly everything? Why have they been there so long? What are they doing? And why do we find ourselves so driven to them, so drawn to them? Why are they so fascinating? There's so much metaphorical meaning which we can apply and so much literal beauty that we can draw through. Throughout history, people have looked up, seen these exact same stars in these exact same positions and marveled at the patterns and at the processes and at all the different constellations and applied various different meanings and significance and beliefs to them. And some have even worshipped them or believed them to be some kind of deity, something that is our cosmos in in miniature that they seemingly are one of the most vital aspects everything is created and sustained by them themselves you know it's wonderful and it's fascinating but you can't deny it's slightly terrifying I myself say for quite a while I underappreciated the stars, but now on every somewhat clear night I will give them a little glance and think and they're the perfect backdrop for pondering. You think every famous philosopher probably stared up to them at one time and come up with some idea from, from Seneca to Young and whoever else. They're they're an unquestionable beauty. They're um something just they are sort of the human representation of what we would call the heavens, you know. You think every theologian who looked up and thought that up there somewhere was a godly celestial plane, the stars would be the first thing that comes to sight and the stars would be the first thing that they really reckon with as being the heavens when now science says they're little more than burning balls of gas and light travelling a little bit too slow than... But still... (laughs) who knows I for one would like a something to attach to them but I don't mind being absolutely clueless and absolutely awestruck by the millions and millions and millions of twinkling little who knows what's up there just signalling maybe just distinctifying just glowing, just establishing the bounds of our universe, and to think that there are so many visible now, but that is only the tiniest fraction, and that there are even more behind gas clouds that we can't see through, and that there's more there than there will ever be people alive, or more there than grains of sand. It's such an expanse that the human can can cannot comprehend but I'm gonna try because it's incredibly fascinating and I will fail because of that very reason but I'm just as enthralled either way so go out now or if it's the day go out tonight and stare 
Stare until your eyes hurt. Stare for no reason other than to look because they are wonderful.